Welcome back to the 24 Acres of Paradise channel. In this video you will be seeing us fishing here at the Choke Canyon Reservoir that's uh, about an hour and a half south of San Antonio, Texas. And uh, this is a great fishing reservoir for catfish and freshwater drum and even gar. And uh, so you can see right there is a lot of hydrilla. We're going to be spending a couple of days here fishing and we're going to be doing some jug fishing. Uh, so that's how we're going to be catching most of our fish. I have two full days here of fishing that uh, will be interesting. You'll get to see some good fishing. So here you can see we have the fishing jug and uh, sometimes people call them noodles because that orange floaty thing is for swimming in a pool. Uh, we just cut those up, we use the PVC pipe and put a weight inside and that allows us to uh, keep it sideways and then once it flips up it will stay up. Uh, it's that one I think, I think it's the front one. Oh yeah! Bring it over, dude! Bring it over! Oh! Look at that! Damn, dude! Gotta catch up to him. <laughs> He's moving. <laughs> oh my god! catfish cool oh man dude he got his head ripped look at that that's a blue cat oh, oh, that's a cat. nice one wow yeah maybe a gar got him or something oh my god that's the brain moving or maybe the propeller look, you... look at that oh look at that. gosh that is a gash Can you see it Intercept him. Look at him go. Yeah, he's moving towards us. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Don't rub it against the uh, boat. I'm trying not to. Look, he's like getting under the boat. Oh, nice. big one. He's healthy. Nice. He's a really healthy one. Another blue oh, cat. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, look at him. Look at that. That's like, huge. This is why this bush is so popular. Alright, here, hold this. Go ahead and get it. Alright, we got Jaws on the run.
That's a nice one. Yeah. All right, put them in. Okay, try that tank with this line. There we go. Look at that. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh no, my knife. All right, so that's the end of the first day of fishing, and uh, we're going to take some of those catfish back to the land and stock them in the pond that we have. All right, we got several blue catfish. Look at that. Now he's going in. Oh man. There he goes. That's like a shark. Yeah. There's another one. Oh my god. <laughs> you bust six, I think. That That's one looks like one. it has eggs. Yeah. That's a fat one. Uh -oh. It's okay, we'll help on the thing. So the next day on the way down to Choke Canyon Reservoir, uh, my temperature gauge started acting really funky. And it wasn't until I got down to the boat ramp that I found out that the car was overheating. And uh, I knew it was time to replace out this car, and this was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. It's going to the grave. so we didn't make it on the second trip because the car is incapacitated right as we got down to the ramp over here it uh, overheated and um, was no more so I had to call the wrecker so you can see here is the upgrade to my Highlander I got a uh, truck and I uh, absolutely love it and it should do well uh, it has good towing capacity and I think I'm going to enjoy it. On the way to the lake we stopped at the Atascosa River uh, to get some of the shad that we use for the bait and I uh, got a good haul there. There's one tilapia. I'm going to put them back. That one? We can put them in the, uh, no, we can put them in the bucket. Let's get the bucket. No, let's put them in the bucket, yeah. All right, so we're back out at Choke Canyon, and uh, this is our second day of fishing since we couldn't go that other day due to the car issue. So we're going to go try to catch some more catfish to put in our pond. And if you're not familiar with Choke Canyon Reservoir, there are alligators out here, so you got to be a little careful. Oh, that's an alligator. Alright, I see one. Over here. I think this one has one. Right in front of us. See the one that's out? I think I, I saw a pop down, pop under. I think I saw a pop under.
Look at those teeth. That's an alligator gar? Uh. I'm pretty sure that is. Oh, yeah. It's either an alligator gar or it's a short nose gar. Yeah. Oh, that might be an alligator gar. Oh, Look at the snout. Jeez. Look at that snout. That looks like he has an infection right here. Yeah. Yeah. Get back here, too. Yeah, that's All right, that's so gonna let him bad. go? Yeah, go ahead. That's pretty heavy. That's about seven, eight pounds. Yeah. Awesome, well at least it's something, right? Yeah, I've never We need to uh, put a hook on that one. Yeah, now right now, let's go ahead and take another one. That was uh, so small, we didn't even know it had a, had a fish on it. Got a freshwater drum here. Yeah, throw them in the cooler. Don't rub it against the boat. Oh my gosh, it's a fishing rod. It's a fishing rod. Bring that in. That came right off the reel holder. Wow! Right off somebody's boat. That, that might be a pen reel there, dude. It is a pen reel. Pen battle reel. Awesome. Okay, well. The newest one, dude. This one's really recent. Awesome. Well, let's uh, put it off to the side over here, Christian. Right here. That is one big uh, bobber. Christian's got one. Don't horse it, man. Or catfish. I think you yeah, have the net. Catfish. I think you have the net. Here, bring it over here. I'll get it. I'll get it. All right. I got him. Yeah. Look at that. That's a nice one. Hook in line. Hey, they're out here. Oh, that's barely hooked too well. That's a nice one. I'm pretty sure that might be a female. Maybe a male. Get, now we gotta get fishing now. Huh? Whoa! I don't know, but it's big. like a female. So now that I got the fish back to the land, I'm going to go ahead and put them in the pond and uh, add them to the stock of fish that's already there. 
Hopefully I'd like to get some of these to spawn in my pond. That would be awesome. And maybe harvest some of them to eat later on. But uh, right now I'm really happy with the stock. I must have about 60 catfish in my pond right now. And in a later video I'll show you me actually feeding some of those catfish. Because uh, they're already coming up to the surface to feed on the uh, fish pellets that I'm throwing out there. All right, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed the videos that I'm putting out. I'll have some more videos in the near future, so stick around. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.